Hi, this is Fatima. Here, let us discuss how to implement the list view in ASP.NET Core MVC. Before proceeding to this video, watch my previous video where we have discussed about attribute routing using tokens in ASP.NET Core MVC. Product list. In this video, let us see how to retrieve all the products and display them on the web page like this. At this moment, from styling perspective, this page does not look good. In our upcoming video, let us see how to install the bootstrap and style the pages to make it a look good. This is an ASP.NET Core application we have created with a simple empty project template. Let us use this in order to implement the list view in ASP.NET Core MVC. Here, if we see this details action method of the home controller class we are returning only the product id 101 details in order to list all the product in a view page let us see how to do that now we want to retrieve all the product details and to display on the web page let us see how to do it So let us modify this repository interface to include another method that returns list of all the products. So let us have another method. It's going to return the list. So let us have I enumerable type list of products. Let us have the name as get products. That's it. So we have already created the sample product repository class in order to implement the methods of this interface. So let us add the implementation for this method too in sample product repository. Let us modify this class in order to provide implementation for second method also. So we are creating another method to return all the products. So let us return this product list here. Now let us modify this index action method of the home controller class. To retrieve all the products let us call this method dot get products so it will get all the products here let us return this model object in our view we are passing the list of products to the view by retrieving all the products here so in order to display the past model in the web page we need to modify this index page. Let us set the product model as a model for this view. So let us type at model directive. At model directive and I enumerable because the product is coming as a list. Let us include order management dot models dot product. So now this product acts as a model for this view. And uh, now let us have some tables with the header and the body to display the details. We are going to display ID, name, description and price in this view page.
Now let us use the for loop here in order to iterate each product in the list of products that we get here and dynamically generate the table row and table cells to display that ID, name, description and price here. So now we made a modification in this index view page in order to display the product details. And with these changes in place, now let's run the application. Let us navigate to the home index section method where we have code for displaying the product details. Now you can see the output that displays the product list here. Hope you enjoyed this video. Our next video is about layout view in ASP.NET Core MVC. Thank you.